So you may be wondering, what is Respiratory Care Week? Well, that is exactly what we're going to talk about in this video. Are you ready? Let's go! Respiratory Care Week is a full week that is set aside each year in order to appreciate and acknowledge hard-working respiratory therapists around the world. Typically, Respiratory Care Week is celebrated in all parts of the world, but it is most notably recognized in the United States and Canada. Respiratory therapists around the world use Respiratory Care Week as a way to celebrate their profession and dedication to high-quality patient care. And this includes respiratory therapy students as well because, hey, students can always use a little appreciation too, am I right? Most respiratory care departments and school programs use this week as an opportunity to hold special events in order to help raise awareness of the vital role that a respiratory therapist plays as a part of the healthcare team. It's also not uncommon for respiratory therapists to be recognized by nurses, doctors, and other departments of the hospital as well. And that's right, you guessed it, that means, if you're lucky, free food. So you may be wondering, when is Respiratory Care Week? Respiratory Care Week usually falls on the last full week of October, although the dates can vary on a year-to-year -year basis. This date is set each year by the AARC. In just a moment, we're going to talk about how to celebrate the special week, but first, let's dive deeper into where it all began. Respiratory Care Week was started by President Ronald Reagan in November of 1982 when he signed a proclamation declaring the third week of each October as National Respiratory Care Week. Since the proclamation, Respiratory Care Week is now a yearly event that is designed to promote and bring awareness to the field of respiratory care. Now another day to keep in mind is Lung Health Day. In 2003, the AARC initiated Lung Health Day as another way to promote respiratory care and lung health awareness. Now this special day takes place on the Wednesday of National Respiratory Care Week each and every year. So when you're marking off the days for Respiratory Care Week on your calendar, be sure to put an extra star on the Wednesday because that represents Lung Health Day. So now let's talk about how to celebrate Respiratory Care Week. This week is not only about raising awareness, it's about celebrating as well. So with that said, here are a few ideas that you can consider for celebrating this special week. First and foremost, enjoy the free food. If you're lucky, other departments in your hospital or school will provide the respiratory therapy department with free food. So definitely take advantage of this. Just don't overdo it with the dessert. The next way to celebrate is to have a fundraiser. There will be a lot of hype around respiratory care during this week, and that's why it's a perfect time to do a fundraiser for your department. Next, you can schedule activities. This is the perfect opportunity to schedule activities or play games with your coworkers. It can even be something simple like playing cards, going bowling, or even going to happy hour. Spending time with your coworkers outside of work can help grow the bond within your department. And last but not least, be grateful. As I said before, being a respiratory therapist, you'll most likely receive a lot of praise and recognition during Respiratory Care Week. Now, of course, you deserve all the praise and admiration that you'll receive, but at the end of the day, just don't forget to be thankful. So now let's talk about some of the best Respiratory Care Week gift ideas. Respiratory Care Week is the perfect time to get a new gift for yourself 
or for a friend or family member who happens to be a respiratory therapist. So here are a few ideas that they'll be sure to love. It could be a new stethoscope, a new pulse oximeter, gift cards because who doesn't like getting gift cards? You could get them t-shirts and apparel. It could be new jewelry for the ladies of course. I'm sure they would appreciate a new pin light. And last but not least, new coffee mugs. And also, this is the perfect time of year for hoodies and sweatshirts. And luckily, RespiratoryShop.com has an amazing selection for respiratory therapists, so definitely check that out. For those who are interested, I'll drop a link down below in the description. So why is Respiratory Care Week important? This week is important not only to acknowledge hard-working respiratory therapists around the world, but it also serves as an opportunity to spread the word about this great profession. Now unfortunately, respiratory therapists often don't get the credit that they deserve, but this special week is a time to focus on and highlight just how important respiratory therapists are in regards to caring for patients with cardiopulmonary disorders. So now let's talk about how to raise awareness for respiratory care. So in order to help raise awareness and grow the field of respiratory care, we all must be advocates of this great profession. So here are a few popular ways that we can all pitch in. First and foremost, just use social media. Now as I'm sure you are aware, the world we live in today has been taken over by social media. That is why it can be such an effective and easy way to spread the word about the field of respiratory care. So while you're celebrating Respiratory Care Week with your co-workers, definitely be sure to snap a selfie and share it to your favorite social media pages. And don't forget to tag us so we'll see it, and also don't forget to use the most popular hashtags as well. Next, you can hold an event. There's no better way to get the word out than to hold an event in your hospital or school. As humans, we're always drawn to events, which is why this is a great way to raise awareness about respiratory care. And last but not least, you can donate to the ARCF, or American Respiratory Care Foundation. It's an organization that supports education and research for respiratory care professionals. Giving back is a great way to support this great profession, and if you're interested, just go to arcfoundation.org. So once you arrive on their website, all you have to do is click the big red donate button, and then basically just follow the easy directions that they lay out for you. But keep in mind, you don't have to give a lot, but every little bit counts and goes a very long way to help grow the field of respiratory care. So there you have it. Now you know pretty much everything there is to know about Respiratory Care Week. And as a respiratory therapist, this is one of the most special times of the year because this week is dedicated to celebrating you. More times than not, respiratory therapists just simply do not get the recognition that they deserve. This, my friend, is the unfortunate truth. But with that said, I want to personally thank you for all the hard work that you do each and every day, or night for my night shifters out there. The long hours, code blues, vent checks, breathing treatments, ABGs, you name it. You, my friend, are a crucial member of the healthcare team, and don't you ever forget it. Thank you for being a part of the Respiratory Therapy Zone community, and most importantly, thank you for being a respiratory therapist. If you thought this video was helpful, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button, and also don't forget to subscribe to help grow this community. And one more thing. Be sure to share this video on social media to help spread the word about our great profession of respiratory care. That's it for this one. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video. And as always, breathe easy my friend.
No 